Hello guys, this is your boy Lisa Lanky, and today we'll be talking about the last minute tips and tricks for MHT CET. Throughout this video, I will be giving you some valuable tricks that you can use to ace this exam. These tips and tricks go well with both the groups, the physics, chemistry, biology group, as well as the physics, chemistry, maths group. So watch this video till the end to get a significant boost in your marks. Now, MHTCT is the common entrance examination to get into the engineering colleges as well as the medical colleges of Maharashtra. The exam centers are present in almost all the states throughout India and anyone can give this examination. This time, the exam is scheduled to begin from 1st October for the PCB group and 12th October for the PCM that is engineering students group. MHTCT is quite like J-Mains except it does not have any negative marking scheme and it is much much easier than JE. If you've already well prepared for J-Mains then you do not need to worry about MHTCT at all. However, there is no negative marking scheme in this exam. So unfortunately or fortunately, the people who can guess well end up boosting their marks to a large extent. Don't worry, I've got you covered there too. I've already compiled all the possible guessing strategies that you can use in this video. So do watch that video out too. Particularly in this exam, it will really help you get a boost in your rank. Now let's talk about the syllabus of MHTCT. The syllabus of MHTCT is totally based on the Maharashtra State Board's curriculum. So for the CBSE students, please read the Maharashtra Board's curriculum thoroughly. Also, a very important piece of advice, do not leave any chapters behind when you prepare for MHTCT. This exam is essentially to test your basic knowledge. In MHTCT, you have to solve 150 questions in 180 minutes. So you get around one minute per every question. That's why the difficulty level of these questions is also quite low. So if you're in the dilemma of choosing to read one chapter in detail or going through all the chapters without leaving any behind, then always go with the second approach. This is because just having the basic knowledge about a chapter will help you solve most of its questions. Now, apart from this, many students were asking if they should start with the 11th standard syllabus or the 12th standard syllabus first. For that, let's look at its weightage. In MHCCT, 20% of the weightage is given to the 11th standard portion, whereas around 80% weightage is for the 12th standard portion. So remember to go through Maharashtra Board's 12th standard curriculum first. Now let's talk about what you need to focus on while studying. While studying for this exam, remember to learn all the formulas. It is because this exam is totally formula based and you can just plug the values in and get your answers. If you've watched my previous videos, then you already know that I do not recommend you all to waste your time on making a formula sheet at the last moment. But in MHTCT, it's different. In MHTCT, formulas are very important. So if possible, make a formula sheet for yourself and write all the formulas down. Now let's go over the chemistry part. In chemistry, learn all the reactions and equations. This is because most of the time the reactions are directly asked. Keep a handbook and list down all the reactions in it if possible. Now next up, let's go over the mock test and past year's papers. This is one of the most important thing that you need to do in these last moments. Solve all the past year's papers and mock tests. Now many people take mock tests lightly and solve it as if they are practicing questions. This is not the correct way to solve your papers. Whenever you are attempting mock tests or even solving past year's papers, make sure you are in an exam-like environment. Solve the test in that given time only. I take this a step further by even telling you to follow the dress code and the actual timings of the paper. What I mean by this is, let's say your exam timings are from 2 to 5 pm. Then make sure to solve your past year's papers and mock tests in that time only. By doing so, you are setting this as your study time. This will automatically make you very alert and you will have a greater concentration when you actually solve the exam paper. The next tip is to not leave any question unanswered. The worst case in this exam is that you will get a zero if your answer is incorrect as there is no negative marking. So take the last 10 minutes of your exam duration to guess all the remaining answers. Now you might think that 10 minutes is way too much for just guessing on the options. But trust me, you will require this time to mark all your remaining answers. Apart from this, I always tell you all not to mess with your body clock for the last 7 days of your exam. 
This means to get ample amount of sleep rather than staying up late in order to study. So that's it for the video and I'll be posting content regularly so subscribe to my channel. If you like this video then do press the like button and share this video with all your friends and the student community. Thank you.